Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior, and today I'm bringing you guys an MR-28 Marksman Rifle Chem Strike uh, on the map Warhawk in the Heavy Duty playlist. Now, sadly, Heavy Duty is no longer in the game. Heavy Duty was my favorite playlist. It's what I played 24-7 whenever I was playing Call of Duty, but the assholes over at Infinity War thought it'd be a great idea to take it out and throw in gun game, which blows my mind because why couldn't they just leave them both in there? You know, if people wanted gun game, or all or nothing or something. I don't get what's the problem with having more playlists. You know, I don't find that as a negative thing whatsoever. But then again, I'm not an employee at Infinity Ward, so I don't know what their probably shitty reasoning for taking Heavy Duty out. But, um, you know, rest in peace, Heavy Duty, and let's get right into the video. So this is going to be episode 3 of how to get a chem strike. Now in episode 1 I covered the class setups. Uh, you guys can go check that out on my channel. In episode 2 I covered the best play style. So hopefully we can combine those two things with what I'm going to talk about in this video to help you guys get that first chem strike. Now this video is going to be on the equipment. Um, you know, And what I mean by that is not like the equipment like stun grenades or frag grenades or anything like that. But I mean like the actual equipment like a controller, a headset, control freaks or anything like that. Now anything I say in this video isn't necessarily a necessity in order to get a chem strike it just makes the job a lot easier on yourself and gives you kind of uh, a little bit of an advantage over the enemies and uh, the number one thing I can recommend the biggest thing I will talk about in this entire video is a headset any headset's a good headset you know personally I have Astro A40s and they were really expensive they were like $250 so it's definitely not a cheap investment but you know there are Turtle Beach headsets out there for like 40 bucks and uh, you know any headset's better than TV sound you know I would play with I'd play with, like, um, you know, my earbuds for my phone before I'd play with the TV sound. So, you know, it doesn't even have to be a Turtle Beach. Like I just said, you could use your earbuds from a phone, and it would still be, you know, better than TV sound. And combined with the Amplify perk that I recommended in the first video, you know, it's basically having, like, a constant motion sensor around you. You know, you always know where they are. Even if they have dead silence, you can still hear them. Now, I know sound whoring is generally... Um, you know, people hate it when people sound whore, but it does give you a huge advantage. And I figure if the per if there are perks in the game that to help you sound whore, and um, you know, I have a headset or something like that, I figure might as well do it and might as well use it to my advantage. Because more often than not, there's kids on the other team doing the exact same thing back to me. So you know, I definitely recommend a headset. Um, it's really you know, it puts you in the game more because you know. Uh, sounds louder, you hear things blowing up left and right, and you can basically always know where the enemies are. Um, so that's about it. Biggest thing I re can recommend is the headset. And on to the next thing, which is a scuff controller. A scuff controller, I would recommend to someone who has money to spare. If you don't have, like, over $100 to spend on a controller, that is fine. You do not need a scuff controller. All a scuff controller helps me do is jump and knife. Personally, I don't think jumping gives you that big of an advantage because since so many people do it now, people are almost accustomed to predicting that someone's going to jump shot and, you know, being able to shoot them just as easy as they would if they didn't jump shot. So, uh, what I would recommend is getting in the habit of drop shotting more, switching your button layout to tactical, and you can, you know, just lay down when you're getting shot at and dodge the bullets even better than you can by jump shotting. Um, but however, the knife feature is kind of you know really nice to have on a scuff controller so if you do have the money to spare definitely check out scuff um you know just go to scuffgaming.com and you can buy one but they are pretty pricey but um you know if you don't have the money to spare you don't really need one but the last piece of equipment that i'm going to talk about will get you a chem strike 10 times out of 10 a quad chem strike every single game and that is a jtag i'm just kidding but, um, yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. If you did enjoy, please click the like button. Let's go for 100 likes. I'm um, sorry I didn't upload a video yesterday. It was just a Super Bowl, and I didn't really think any of you wanted to watch a Call of Duty video when the Super Bowl was on. Um, but, yeah, subscribe if you guys are new. We are in, within, like, 200 subscribers of 3,000, 3, and that's really crazy considering, like, two weeks ago I was at, like, 700 subscribers. So, uh, yes, click the like. Let's go for 100. Drop a comment down below. And all those crazy challenges you guys left for me, like combat knife, chem strikes, or 44 magnums, I don't think a combat knife chem strike is going to happen, but I am going to go for a bunch of pistol chem strikes in hardcore. However, it is extremely frustrating. So that is about it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Have a fantastic day. I am out. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, baby, let the light